हे आर्यन यू आर अमेजिंग नॉट एबल टू थिंक फर्स्ट टाइम इट्स अ बाइनरी सर्च प्रॉब्लम हाउ कैन आई हे कैन यू मेक अ वीडियो ऑन हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई इफ अ प्रॉब्लम इज ऑफ बाइनरी सर्च और नॉट एंड ऑल्सो वेन वी हैव टू डू अ बाइनरी सर्च ऑन मल्टीपल कंडीशन और ऑन आंसर एज वेल ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन कम्स अलॉट हाउ टू बिल्ड इंड्यूशन हाउ टू नो वॉट इज बींग अप्लाइड हाउ टू नो दैट ओके क्रिटी इज बींग अप्लाइड हेयर बाइनरी सर्च इज बींग अप्लाइड हेयर वॉट ऑल इज बींग अप्लाइड हेयर हाउ विल आई नो इट इज वॉट इट इज कॉल इंट्यूशन इंट्यूशन इज नथिंग बट योर पास नॉलेज प्लस द नॉलेज ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम स्लैश द सिचुएशन यू आर फेसिंग राइट नाउ द पास नॉलेज इफ यू कैन जस्ट मास्टर इट यू विल जस्ट विन दिस होल गेम ऑफ इंट्यूशन एंड हाउ यू विल मास्टर इट जस्ट मास्टर इट If you are given a problem, what has worked before? You just have to ask this one thing. If you encounter a problem, what has worked before? It's just a gut feeling, which is the intuition. How will you do it? You have a problem component. In a problem, you can just bifurcate it into, into multiple components, and each problem component you can map it to a solution idea. For example, if you have n, let's say more than one e nine, or maybe the conditions on which the loop has to run is more than one e nine, maybe one e eighteen, one e fifteen, then it's for sure it's something kind of binary search. If maybe it is answer is just being increasing or decreasing, or maybe it's just you have to find maximum or minimum. It's just a binary search. If something n is less than one e five, so you can just say okay, it's a o of n or o of n log n solution. maybe that algorithm maybe sorting will work that kind of stuff will work maybe if n is less than let's say 300 or 400 then maybe n log n solution will work all that thing will work maybe if we have being said you have to bifurcate the array into multiple continuous components then maybe you can think of a two pointer approach or a dp approach or a prefix sum prefix max approach so it is just that you have to map your programming or problem component to a solution idea and just remember that so that next time you see that component in a problem you can just from your intuition tell intuition is nothing but what you have seen before applying the same thing in the next time now you will say okay aryan it's good but how to actually reach to a point that i am able to build the logic okay i'll just get the intuition from the problem solving which i have but how to actually solve the problems how to build the logic in those problems firstly and foremost do your basic concepts basic theory basic stl basic collections and basic problems when i say basic problems it means the problem via intuition not just doing the basic problem for the sake of problems but while doing those basic problems the person who is teaching you should actually tell you what is the intuition behind the problem he should start thinking from scratch and make you think from scratch and not okay it is being applied so we applying this for example you can just watch these two videos right here it can just tell you what an intuition feels like how to think intuitively how you can by yourself think it intuitively it is how intuition works and we have also been working on making our 469 question problem set it's half way done i know i have been saying it for the past four and a half months but i have been working on since then and it takes time to complete that as soon as it gets completed we will start with the videos daily for those problem set and i swear it will not it will not be better than the other dsa courses or other a to z courses out there but it will be the best intuitive course out there mark my words now next thing comes is okay you have done with your theory your stl your concepts next comes is a problem solving start with the problems from basics to advance which means that start problem from easy to medium to hard from problem a problem b problem c problem d don't jump from problem a to problem c from problem d b to problem d just start and move gradually and also while reading the problem just make sure you read every fucking line carefully every line every line is trying to convey something it has a meaning it has something behind it 
just try to read that line very very carefully it will just give you out something or the other thing thus you can just help your problem solving by just reading that problem carefully in the problem solving part comes okay how to build the logic how to build the intuition to build the logic you have to sort the problems according to the topic you do the array one time one day then like next day you do the graphs next day you do the strings next day you do the uh, dp next day you like you do segment trees tries fenwick trees all that stuff to build the intuition part you have to sort on the basis of the ratings and not the topic in intuition you should not pre ahead know what is the topic like so that you can see the problem from scratch you have eight algorithms in mind what algorithm i have studied which matches with this question how i can apply with this your mind will work and you will be able to reach to a point where you can build the intuition by yourself it is how you can build the intuition of the problem and for problems easy give 15 minutes medium 30 minutes hard 60 minutes not more than that after that just look at, just look at a quick glance at the hint what algo is being used what ds is being used and again just come back try to give again 15 minutes 30 minutes 60 minutes after that time which means for easy it was at max 15 plus 15 for medium it was 30 plus 30 for hard it was 60 plus 60 after that time just go and look at the solution at the tutorial at the discussion anything you have at the video anything you have but don't put it on ego okay i have to do it i have to do it maybe 8 hours or so just go and have a look at the solution if you want you can write the code by yourself if not then you can also have a look at the code of others and just complete that question down and that is it how you will solve the problems next big thing which comes in is a consistency swear it is the most important thing out of all the thing in this whole list just be consistent for that let's start with the 21 days first just write down below hashtag #21 days with aryan i am in just write down i am in and we will do straight for 21 days the coding questions daily of lead code and you will be in the morning will be with me solving the problems daily and thus we will achieve the consistency and after solving the problem just try to reward yourself by any quick thing maybe in the weekends you can just have a quick fun or so very like if you like painting and have paintings just try to reward yourself by something or the other or just thinking in your mind okay if you just do problem solving daily you will just be good at problem solving you, you will be able to land your dream job you will have high pay better salary better company better girlfriend if you have me not so i can't to sala ye dukh kahe khatam nahi hota be so just have that dream and that thing okay if i will do this i can for sure land a high package job i can have money i can i can do the things i like i will have recognition all that thing maybe it sounds very shallow to others but inside you it will burn that fire which will actually make you be consistent now 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 many of you will say aryan i did exactly the same thing i have my logic cleared i do problem solving i am consistent but still i cannot think in the contest my intuition doesn't work in the contest why why and why it is as simple as that it doesn't work in the beginning but as and when you solve the problems you can just write down as i told you the problem component part and the solution idea for that component how that problem component is linked to the idea and you have to just remember that component just write down anywhere in your one note for if you know mine i just have written down in one note about binary search what all standard tricks are being applied there for i have made another section called as tricks where i have just re re written down every tricks in every part of stl what all things are being applied so you you can just do the same thing just write down whatsoever component problem component you find what's the intuition of that problem and if you just keep on repeating the same thing you will just get better at it it is not just a one day thing that okay you will just get better tomorrow but it's just maybe one month when a half month thing right if you just do it consistently and follow the things and just revise make notes out of it 
you can just be awesome last but not least try pair programming and also looking at others codes solutions editorials snippets macros anything whatsoever you want to say pair programming will help you build that consistency part looking at others code solutions snippets macros will help you to actually get faster at coding thus being consistent and writing the code faster will actually help you be a better problem solver see when i say to be consistent which means to pay pay programming it is the easiest way to be consistent see we have a group a telegram group in which you can join in which you can communicate with each other what problem idea you had what you thought of the intuition as and you can connect with the other person maybe one person saying that he thought like this one person he thought like this and you thought like this then you can just connect okay i just connect with this guy more and he's just more consistent with me so what we can do is we can just be a pair and i can just discuss with him offline and just be consistent with him so he will post okay he has solved a problem let's say today and if you have no motivation to solve but you see okay he has solved it then at the back of your mind you will say yaar we started together he is solving i am not so i should be solving so you can just come in a telegram group in which everyone of you can discuss what you solved how you solved if you are solving or not you can just say i solved today's problem so that you can show yourself that you were consistent and if after solving the problems daily consistently and showcasing yourself that i have been solving daily if it doesn't increase just let me know it cannot happen it will not increase it's me i'm at the signing off peace